Manor. Hi, nice to meet you. In you come. Okay, so then you come through. So, yep, this is our kitchen. Don't mind that. <laughs> At the moment, yep, we have no light in here. There's no um, main light through the whole house. They've basically switched off the house, uh, the lights at the mains because they've, they're claiming that the house was rewired wrong. Mm. So they switched off the main and they gave us emergency lighting, but this is the only socket we have in the kitchen. So if you want to wash your clothes, you get like an extension lead and you plug the washing machine in and then you wash your clothes and then you take that out. And with the rats in here, in yep. the kitchen? <laughs> Actually walked in from the garden one day and it was like literally standing like just right where you are here. And it just looked at me and I looked at it and it had this long good tail. <laughs> But we had like a moment of like a stare down. But um, and it was yeah, a rat, not yeah, a it was a rat. No, no, it was big. It was massive, like like bigger than my foot. But um, yeah, they come in from in here. There's a hole behind it. Oh, um, the rats come from behind here as well. And then um, I think there's also a hole in here somewhere. Yeah, and if you can see, like right in that corner, there's a big hole there, the where the rats come from in there as well. And so there's no ceiling in here? No, there's no ceiling in here. Um, what oh. happened was, um, I think that I was upstairs on the phone and um, I heard a big crash, so I came downstairs and my neighbour's pet mum, as she was walking out the kitchen, the ceiling in this area right here has fallen on her. It like collapsed all over her and she was like laid out unconscious. We had to get the ambulance in, um, she had a concussion. Over the last five years, it literally has deteriorated. Um, we've had leaking pipes for years, literally. That ceiling, the, the piping had been leaking into that ceiling for about three years before that came down. And this was something that we were constantly speaking to the landlord about. Um, environmental Health had come in here in 2012 and told the landlord to fix that, get that fixed, and that work never got done. This is all being moved in out here because of the mess in the kitchen, but even minus all these things being here, this is, this is our garden. And if you're thinking about the rat situation in the house, then we're expecting that there must be rats in the garden as well. My two year old, he's in this place of exploring everything. I don't want him touching things out here, I don't. And you can see the pipes behind you as well, where the pipes have all um, corroded. I don't want my son coming out here touching these things. It's unsafe, it's unsanitary, and I don't want my son to be sick. Just walk back in this way. And just if you were wondering, this is someone's room. This is a studio flat actually, um, minus a kitchen. So he shares our kitchen with us as well. Um, he pays 400 pound a month in there. Um, it's like a garden shed, literally. And that's where he lives. This is my other neighbor. So the neighbor I was talking about, whose mum was in there, this is her room. There's one person up yeah, there. And that's a 300 pound a month room. So you've got one out the back, one there. Yep, so this is our toilet here. We actually do have another toilet, but that doesn't work at all, so it's not in use. Okay. Um, that hasn't worked for about two years, so that's not in use. Um, in here's the bathroom. As you can see, this bathroom is actually shared with like nine people, so that's plus me, so I'm just gonna call me and my son, so 11 people share this bathroom. Um, the toilet doesn't work. So when you use the loo, <laughs> you use the bucket, get some water and flush that. Um, as you can see, there's all holes in the side up here. And that window doesn't close ever. It's never closed since I've lived here. So you and your son bathe in here? I bathe in here. I bathe my son in my room because, again, um, I don't know. I don't want to demonstrate this because I might actually fall down. But if you bounce on this, it actually bounces up and down. <laughs> If you will. Yep, there, there we go. Let me not do that again. <laughs> All right, this is a room and this is another room. I believe this guy's paying £400 a month and I think that's paying £300 a month as well. I pay £280 a month. Mine is not that expensive. But come in. This is my room. I've got a lamp in my room, so they didn't expect me. They didn't put a light in here for me because I've got a lamp. But um, yeah, you can see up there, that's a vent that's actually open. It's an open vent. So when we're sleeping, it's really quite cold. So I bought some fine wool and tried to insulate that as much as I could. This Where does your son sleep? My son sleeps on the bed with me. As you can see, I don't really have much space to put um, a cot 
or a separate bed for him. I keep a lot of food in the fridge for him. So here's a lot of a lot of his food is in here. His rice and stuff. So you're doing all your cooking in your bedroom? I do, yeah, basically, yeah. And I do all my cooking in here. The only thing I don't have in here is a cooker, <laughs> which I don't think is safe to have in here anyway, but actually I could show you something if you just come over here. Um see there that actually I had had my socket my um extension lead plugged in and then one day it actually caught fire. It had melted into the into the socket. I'm afraid for my child, I'm afraid for my son. As for me, I'm a big girl. I feel like I can handle myself. But he's two. He's done nothing to deserve any of this. He hasn't, he, he was just born. <laughs> That's all he did, just born. And I can't, I can't provide what I feel like I should be able to provide for my child. And then the people that are here, that are supposed to help me to give my child a good life, like, they're just like, no. <laughs> Just, that's all they have to say to me is no. 